Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are looking at an awesome bath and a half luxury motorhome, and they were able to sneak in some bunk beds in this model. Super excited to show everybody. This is a 2022 Georgetown GT7 model 36K7. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first and the inside features then. We're gonna give you three things we love about the Georgetown and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Again, I am super excited to be showing you this crazy luxury Georgetown. You guys have never seen anything like it, but before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey Andrea! Hi everybody! How's it going today? It's going good. I, I just love it here. It's nice and warm, you guys. Yes. Uh, I have to t I have to tell you guys something. There is a brand new opening of an RV1 in Charleston, South Carolina. Yes. Okay, we hope to see everybody there. We're going to be there. Yes, and Will and Jen, and the dates are April 22nd through the 24th. Yes. And our friend Elijah will be the GM of that store. So yes. So we're super excited. Uh, it's well deserved. Join us for the huge yes. celebration, Andrea. Again, that's in Charleston, South Carolina. We will link the address and there's a Facebook event page down in the description below. But Andrea, without further ado, let's begin. Model is Georgetown GT7 36K7. Actual tip tip leg is 40 feet one inch. This is a huge, awesome motorhome. It's the Georgetown. Now Georgetown makes three different versions. GT3, GT5, GT7. The seven is the best of the best. I love the headlight design on this. Definitely looks better than the GT5 headlight design. You mean the happy emoji one? Yeah, see, <laughs> this one, it, it has a little more edges. It looks meaner and more aggressive. Full body paint standard, beautiful radius front windshield, okay? Coming around the side, we do got chrome mirrors on the left side and right side. Right here, we do got a little doggy door for our oh. little you know. Uh, because this is a 2022, it does have the 7.3 liter V8. It is the Godzilla engine. 350 horsepower. Andre, no, I'm gonna do that again. It is the Godzilla engine. 350 horsepower and 468 pound feet of torque. Right here, we do got side cameras, left side, right side, and reverse side. And then look at these tires, Andre, and the Michelins. You love those. Yes, ma'am. 255-80R22.5 with these shiny Alcoa rims. Those are the Durbright rims as well. Coming on down the side, you can see that you do got frameless windows. Very nice power awning with LED lights. Okay. Look at that paint job. Nice blue. I like that, how it pops. Yes. Right here, we got the connect right there. Very nice. Here is the uh, sound system for the outside. Some nice batteries. Battery bank, outdoor speakers. Yes. Nice storage. Wow, no, look at this. Pass through. Even, ow, ow, ow. You okay? Yeah, even better. Aluminum slam latch doors that's doing something like this. How the heck does that work? There it is. Oh, wow. the double doors. I love that. That Very is nice. Great storage. I mean, that's good because you can put all your all your coolers and stuff in it. All right, your, your chairs. Stuff. Exactly, exactly. Right over here, Andrea. Pass through again. Yes, ma'am. Oh, pass through again. Oh man, here we go now. Okay. Look at that. A little bit more. It's a little messy. Yeah. Messy is what messy does, Andrea. That didn't make any sense. Okay, nice more paint. pass through. And then Andrea, a... yep. Quick connect. Propane quick connect and a water heater. And something that I'm liking, they're painting over these handles, painting over the water heaters. Looks fantastic. Coming around the back, Andrea. Dang nabbit, no ladder to get up on the roof. We do got a nice, nice rear cap though, okay? Unit is plugged in. That means it's gonna be crispy and cooly for us, Andrea. 5,000 pound hits, this motorhome can tow 5,000 pounds with the uh, connector so you can tow behind you. All right. Nice uh, rear, real tail light design, backup camera there, and I believe it's a one piece fiberglass roof. Okay. 
Very nice. Oh, oh, here's our wet bay. That's nice. What say you? I think it's very nice, simple. Yeah. Clean. Yes, ma'am. Over here is the 50 amp power cord. Other side of the storage. Yes, ma'am. Oh, what's this? Generator? No. Oh, yeah, it is. It is. Cummins own in 7,000 generator. Everybody else is giving you fibers. 55, yeah. but uh, this one has the upgraded You will fill up everybody. Yes, ma'am. Storage. I love it. Nice. I love it. I love it. Okay. Let's see what we got in here. The other side of the storage. Yes, ma'am. This is going to be more storage. Oh, man, there she goes. Don't stop her now. And oh, man, she keeps going. <laughs> you open this one, which will be... Oh, okay. The propane. And the auto leveling. And, Andrea, we'll put all the specs of this motor home. Bing! Right there so everybody can see who's watching on television. Well, Andrea, the outside of the Georgetown GT7 looks fantastic. But the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. Careful, Matt. Here we go now. All right, don't forget the cargo carrying capacity. Oh, it's gonna be on the side. Okay. Right here. All right, everybody. Coming in, we got the slide in. It's nice and cool in here. Right, I don't even have the lights on. Oh no. Get those on right away. Okay, guys, as you can see, there is a really good walkway here. Yeah. Very spacious as I'm going through. You can definitely open the fridge. Walking through here, still plenty of space. Okay, there is- 2537 pounds. 2537, okay. Yes. So here is the other, the, the full bath here, and then there's another one in the back. But wow, I mean, I'm, I'm just amazed at the walkway. We do have a tilted bed, but wow. I gotta say, I, I'm really impressed with this walkway. Usually it it's Andrea. pretty this crowded, is but this is this is awesome. And Andrea, while we put the slide outs out, let's give a big shout out to our sponsor of this episode. This episode is sponsored by Lippard. This week is National Volunteer Week. As Lippard brand ambassadors, we are encouraging everyone to do their part in volunteering their community. The Lippert Cares Initiative truly believes that business can be a force for good. Lippert gives back over 100,000 volunteer hours per year. This week, we are volunteering at Sea Island Habitat for Humanity. We hope everyone can join by giving back to their community. If you do, please use hashtag Lippert Cares so we can see all the amazing work that you are doing. Thank you so much to Lippert for sponsoring this video and doing good for the community. Let's continue the video. Andrea, look at this. This is incredible. Andrea, this looks like a Bounder 35K. It looks like a bath and a half Georgetown GT7. It looks like all the higher end units, but again, they were able to squeeze in bunks in here, which is very exciting. Before we show all that, let's jump up front here to the cockpit area. Somebody was small driving this thing. Okay, we got a pedestal table, you guys, that will go here in between the driver and passenger seats. They both uh, swivel. Electric seats. The seats do swivel. Yes, ma'am. Very nice. So right up here in my cockpit area, I got cup holders. Oh, Oops, sorry. Sorry. sorry about that, Andrea. My big old noggin hit your hand. Cup holders there, auto leveling, nice steering wheel. I love all these buttons, heated mirrors, dash fans, battery boost. They're all in good reaching position from where I am, and I have a great angle of that uh, screen to see what's going on to the left of me and right of me. Andrea, yes. how do you feel in my co-captain seat? Ah, uh, it's comfortable. Okay. It's, it's nice. Um, I got a, a flimsy little workstation here. Hey, flimsy, flimsy. Not, not my favorite, but at least they gave you one. We've got daytime. Okay. And privacy shades. Very nice. And Andre, I wouldn't call that flimsy, but when you put it down, it's just not level. Right. Like, I think it's good material. Got a cup holder over here. Yep. Um, this is, this is not a power seat. Oh, yours is not power. No. Mine is think. power. Wait, yes, actually. Oh. To move it up and down, it is, but back and forth is not. Well, you should be able to move it back like this. Yeah, that it is power. Then that is power. I was looking for. Okay. Every chair is crazy, you guys. I'd like to try to swivel them, yes. but I can't find the little thing to swivel it. Well, it's right there. 
Is it right here? It's right there. This one's different. Yeah, push that all the way up. <sighs> they don't make these chairs easy. They don't, you guys. It's it's really crazy. It doesn't. Here, I'm not. I'm here. not going to do it. Why don't you try to swivel it real quick? Andrea, you hold, swivel yours. Hold my beer. Okay, I'll hold your two beers. There you go. So you guys. I know a lot of people, sometimes swivel, they want to see swivel. the swivel. Now the swivel's always the most pain in the butt in the yeah. driver's seat. Um, and then right there, you got that diamond plate on the ground right oh, there. Oh yeah. Next to the doggy window. Yes, or a kitty window. Doggy window. <laughs> uh, show we, that storage. Okay, so we got some cabinets up here. Yes, ma'am. All right. Very nice. Very nice. Stepping over the dog house here. Oh, that's not a cat no. house? No, a cat house. <laughs> cat house. They call it a dog house for a reason. Okay. All right. And then we got a bunk over the cab. Now, very important, guys. You got to be careful about right. um, sliding it in because you can easily mess up your uh, front area right here. And then, yes, there is a bunk over the cab. I think the seatbelts are plugged oh. in. Are they? Check that. Uh, I think that belt's in. I'm not sure. There it is. Yeah, there you go. All right. I wonder what the weight is on this. Looks like a pretty big bed. Yes, ma'am. Hey, the company name of this is MCF. Those are my initials. Oh, they are. What Math do you know? Matthew Champion Fox. <laughs> And underneath, let's check this out. Okay, yeah. that makes it a lot more comfortable. It does have a safety net, as you can see. Wow, that's a good size. Hey, Andrea. Yeah. Question of the day. It is a fact that MCF is my initials. But do you want to know what's not a fact, Andrea? Your middle name? Champion, as much as it sounds, is not my true middle name. <laughs> can you guys guess? what Matt's middle name is and put it hashtag in the comments. MCF, hashtag Matthew C. Foxcroft. Guess what the middle name is? You know what first, you know, you know what first person to get it gets? What's that? A congratulations. <laughs> I want to see if somebody can get it right. Perfect. And then, so uh, we'll show the kitchen in a moment. You know what? We're going to mix it up. I'll We're going to do the kitchen first? Show us the kitchen now. Okay. Um, I'm going to start here because I saw this. We have a, a counter extension here. Huge counter wow, extension. Wow, and it's flush. And look, Matt, a farmhouse sink. Show us the inside. Wow, solid surface, countertop, beautiful. Interesting, I've never seen a double farmhouse sink. So that's kind of cool. Um, got the extension here. Wow, this is, this is pretty good for counter space. All right, we have a cabinet up here. Big cabinet. Yes, ma'am. We've got a shade here. Okay, Pipes okay. You know what, Andrea? You, you, you know what, Andrea? Yes. I lied. Twenty-five dollar Bass Pro Shop gift yeah. card to the first person because I remember we still had some of those. To the first person to guess my name right. Here's right. how you win. It's the first person to don't just guess the middle name. You have to put Matthew the middle name Foxcroft. First person wins a twenty-five dollar Bass Pro awesome, gift shop. Awesome, Matt. Okay, very cute balances. Andrea. Very nice. You know what they look like? What? Looks like a city. Looks like um. Maybe. Looks yeah. like like oh, New York I totally City kind of. Yeah. I totally see it. I totally see it. Right, like little. Yeah. 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 Good observation, Matt. Thank you. All right, so we have a uh, storage under here as well. Okay, moving over, we have above the convection microwave another cabinet. A nice Furion convection microwave. I love this backsplash. Super cute. Mm, like the woven look. Yeah, it's kind of like a basket. Is it real tile? Of course it is. Yeah, it's pretty. Um, let's see, we got a, ooh! Jeez. Wow, a three burner propane Furion cooktop. All right. Which is more of a residential style. Yes. I like that. That's very nice. That's very nice. Usually I always see inductions in these, right? These things are always heavy. Um, and then it looks like that. They give you an oven too. Furion. Wow. Really nice. Good size. Okay, moving on over here, we have- Did you show these drawers? Um, no, I didn't. Wow. Oh man. How did I forget those? I don't know. Soft clothes. Thank goodness I'm here. Look at this one. 
Wow. Well, somebody has to keep you together. <laughs> okay, over here we have the Think Residential. It's my favorite fridge. LG refrigerator. Look at that. You got the nice water the purifier system. Oh, this is one of these weird things. Oh, Andrea, weird. we were in so many river stones last week. Yeah. By the way, guys, make sure you tune in to Matt's RV Reviews Tobles. In a few weeks, you're going to see that we're reviewing river stones that we did at uh, Mid-State RV. Nice size. And residential. they didn't have water filters or ice um, yeah. dispensers. Yeah, I, I love the water filter systems. Right. You know, it's great. Um, you know, you get the ice and stuff. Matt, I do see, uh, I'm gonna move over here because I saw some pantry or- Yes. I don't know what this would be, it's but I guess it's your pantry. Yes. Oh my goodness. And then look at this. It also opens up this way. Very nice. Yeah, and then you have uh, more down here. This is some deep storage. Sure is. So that is excellent for storage space. Very nice. Okay. And then over here, Andre, is the dinette. We do got storage underneath the dinette. Okay. This drops down to make a bed. I love these types of dinettes. Look at this skinny table. Wow. You know what I'm saying? This is very little. Yes, Matt. That I got is that is a pretty skinny table. Yes, I got plenty of space. Cup holder drops down and makes the bed. Also, the cushion back here. Yes. Oh, yeah. More Just... importantly, I do see lights up here. Yep. But they're not on. Because yep. I do feel like it is a little dark in here. Oh, I, I, I do not concur. I feel like it's super bright in here. But those lights are going to make it brighter. Yes. Um, nice blinds and everything. Really good position. And then over here, Andre, is the living room. Right here, we do got the theater seats. Let's take a look. There's your lights, Andrea. Thank you. We do got very nice cabinetry above. Very nice. Nice theater seats. Electric recliner, power, heated. And you got these little things to put... Um, the tit little trays. Yep, exactly. Right here is where your remote holder is. And then you got a... Uh, a uh, cup holder for beer, and then another cup holder for your second beer. While you're waiting, looking directly across at the entertainment center. Very nice. Okay. Connect TV, sound system there. Furion fireplace. What is great about that fireplace, it does produce heat from electricity. And Andrea. Ooh. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. Let's check it out. Here we go now. Okay, not my favorite. Okay, nice bunks. Look at this. Look at how much head height I have here. Wow, you know what that I'm might be the most I've ever seen. Right, remember the last one? Yes. I got bumped my elbow coming out of it. Wow. Or maybe I bumped my head. I don't even remember. What you got in there? USB, electrical outlet. Yeah, dude, I got the hookup. I got everything I need. You got a little bit of storage underneath there. Okay, wow, I mean, that's a good size drawer too. Wow. You got two of them. I mean, what more can I be asking for? Right. Oh, and look at the top bunk. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Do you got a surprise? I lied to America. Andrea. This is only one and a half bath. It's two full baths. Oh, is it? What? That's what I said when I walked in. Oh, I didn't even realize that. Did you think it was one and a half? I did. Oh. And then this bed does flip up out of the way. Wow. And it becomes hanging wardrobe. That's awesome. How do they do that in this size? I don't know, but I'm. you're going to like the shower in this one. Yeah. All right, so going into this first bathroom, we have a nice regular door. And then look at the shower. I like that. Not a big step up. No. Not a big shower either. No, I work. mean, that is a good size shower, They made Matt. the geometry work. You know what I'm saying? I love it. I Play. mean, normally it's a lot smaller when it's two. Correct. Correct. Okay, so over here we have a nice cabinet, uh, perfect for linens. I mean, I gotta show this because it's actually a really good space there for towels. And then look at the, the vanity light, super cute. And then we've got the nice rectangle sink, very modern. Uh, storage under here. Yes, and then it looks like they gave you four drawers. Wow. And I love that they're soft clothes. Wow. And then Andrea, I do not I, want to get my hopes I up. I do like this shower. Wow. Horsley. This is a prime poop position. Bing! Very nice. Overall, great 
overall amazing. Great bathroom. Yes, ma'am. All right, going into the master bedroom. Yes. We have a pocket door. King, King size, size. tilt up bed, okay? Three windows all the way around. Storage doors that come out uh, that way. No. Don't like them Don't at all. Don't like them. Let's open one up. Okay. I mean, it's very silly. I definitely could not be I hear dealing ya. with that. I hear you. And it looks like there is kind of a little head headboard back there, like a little pad. Okay. And there is a place for you to put your phones. There's chargers yes. and USBs. And then, oh my goodness, look at this wardrobe. Wow, that's huge. Wow. And then we've got, won't you show those, Matt? Nice size drawers there, soft Big clothes. Drawers. I love that. Really Six nice, of them or really five nice of them. slides as well. Oh, Ooh, storage, storage behind the TV. Yes, ma'am. And then. I mean, you guys can't hear this, but like, that's a nice glide. Yeah, it is. Oh, stackable. Washer and dryer. Splendid. Fantastic. All the right. Look at this. All off. Interesting. You go in first. I'm um, okay. interested. This is interesting that they have a regular door on this bathroom here. Yeah, I don't think I, I like done that. A pocket door, but all right, you get over there. Okay. Here we go now. Oh, oh wow. Good size. Okay, so look at this. This this is definitely a big step up. Yeah, but it's nice. It's a it's a good size shower. It's funny because it's not as nice as that mid bathroom shower. That mid bath was a one piece fiberglass, but this is still 100% doable. Okay. Okay. I like that. You know, we have the window here, max air fan. Look at this uh, nice counter space in here. Very nice. And then we have a cabinet here. Yes. A medicine cabinet, and then another one right here. Very nice. You can see this? Yeah, I'll man. Show that real quick. And then we have nice rectangle modern sink again. Yep. Storage. Okay. And then we've got the four drawers right here. Very nice. Which soft clothes. So Matt, this is awkward. You get you get on out. You, the, you get the going. You can't open the Okay, yeah. This is just silly, that door. That door is very silly. Yeah, right? Well, I mean most time you poop at the door closed. Right, but I can't even see how comfortable you are no, with the door. Well, Close the door. There we go now. Wow. You know what, Andre? I mean I hate saying this, but this is a prime poop position. Bing! It's like I'm close to this, I'm close to that, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I mean, it passes. It's eight P's it, in it here. It passes. It passes the bottom. Yeah. Line. Like, you know, no, like in the rules, it doesn't say that the door needs to open properly. Right. Like I can shut but the I door. Just, yeah. Yeah. Okay, Matt. Well, Andrea, people are dying to know what the MSRP is. And truthfully, I'm dying to know what the MSRP is as well, because I actually don't even know what it is. But before we go over that, it's now time to give you three things we love about this unit and three things we don't like about it. Andrea, what do we do first? I want to do three things we dislike about it first. Okay. And I have one. I have two, so you go first. Okay, so I really, right behind you, cannot take the store. Talk to me. Uh, it's just silly, right? I mean, it's just in the way it's taking up room. Like it should have been a pocket um, door. Yeah, it would have been much better if it was a pocket door and yeah. Can I combo that, Andrea? Yes. Oh, with these doors right oh, there. Oh, yes. How, they, how they're downward. Like, dude, just make them upwards. You know what I'm saying? It's very silly. <laughs> that is dislike number one. Andrea, dislike number two for me, on a unit like this, okay? Notice how they're giving you um, a 7,000 generator. Very nice. A lot of higher end features. They should, uh, in this price point competition, they should be giving you a 50 amp power cord reel. Oh, yeah. Don't like that. Don't like how they're not doing that. Never have liked that, never will like that. So that's number two. And then Andre, do you remember your third dislike? Uh, my third dislike probably... I thought I had one. Okay, I'm... I would have to say my... It's very little. I mean, it, it's... It's... The, I don't like the bunk doors. I don't know if you want to... <sighs> Talk to me about the doors and I'll, 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 I'll try to think for a combo. Like, and I forget how I always I forget just my dislikes. Think this is gonna get broke. Like you know, look at it; it's swinging all over the place. Swing. I just, yeah, it's, it's not my thing. I'm gonna combo that, Andrea. Let me know what you guys think about Andrea that. Andrea doesn't like the doors. I'm gonna say, give me, give me, give me three and a half seconds. Oh. So I thought I had. Well, what? What's your? Oath? Well. I do see vents in the floors, but that's not too big of a deal. I no, saw it that, in the bathroom. That no, that wasn't it. But definitely this pantry, 
It's a nice pantry, but it probably could have used like oh. shelving. And that's just a little pick. I remember. I what is remember. It? And it's funny because what if, what's all your dislikes have been about so far? Cabinets. Doors. 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 Yeah. You want to know what else? I put the slide out in with this open and then I could not close this door Oh. with the slide out in. So you got to make sure that you go like this and then when the slide out's in, you won't be able to open the door all the way either. Wow. That's three things we don't like about it. Actually, it's probably like five, but it's okay because now it's time for three things we love about this motorhome. Oh. Would you like to go first or me? You, you can go first. Thank you, ma'am. I love the dinette. Yes. Love the comfort, love the storage, love the padding all the way around, love the skinny table. Chop Stop makes the bed absolutely fantastic. That's number one. Okay, I really like the kitchen setup. I am really excited that they gave you a convection microwave and an oven. Oh yeah. So I think that's pretty cool. Yes ma'am. Also, I'm gonna combo mine, I have to, with the double sink with the farmhouse. Yeah, uh, I'm just gonna say the whole kitchen, the nice yeah. balances and everything. It's all very, very nice. Very cute. And then Andrea, number three for me, it's gonna be the fact that it's two full bathrooms. Yes. Didn't even see that one coming. And so many times, the fact that the showers are always the ones being sacrificed in these big motorhomes and they didn't do it on like this. Andre, there's a reason why this motorhome arrived yesterday and sold yesterday. It's so funny, the uh, salespeople here, they're like, oh, you, you can't review it, it's sold. I'm like, hey guys, every, almost everything I've been reviewing is selling, you know what I'm saying? We got to get it out to the world, Andrea. Exactly. Well, Andrea, do you know what time it is? It's, it's now time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. And Andrea, I don't have the MSRP. Womp, womp. Uh, but MSRP on this unit is right here for everybody to see. Jen, please insert there. Now, Andrea, I don't know what price that was, but it was probably expensive. And if you guys are interested in a motorhome like this, don't worry. The customer who bought it and you won't be paying MSRP. We promise we're going to get you a phenomenal deal. All you guys have to do is go to mattsrvreviews.com. Fill out that contact tab. We will get you with a member of our team, either here in Fort Myers or Texas or California or New York. We have a partner near you that sells the product you're looking for. Go to mattsrvreviews.com and we will take amazing care of you. Andre, is there anything you want to say? Yes. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Yes. Uh, Forest River, they do read the comments. Yeah. They watch the videos. So they want to see what you have to say. Also, don't forget, you guys, we have a brand new store opening in Charleston, South Carolina. RV One of Charleston. Yes. Uh, April 22nd through the 24th. We will link the address down below. We hope to see you guys there. And make sure you guys RSVP yes. on the Facebook page. We'll link that down below and if you guys have any questions about that send us an email mattsrvreviews at gmail.com we hope to see you at the grand opening thanks so much andrea we'll see you next time